Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. When you go upon ye. And all the time. Now bring it out so already. I have one chorus I want us to sing before I start. Can you have a chorus that my heart always sing for, since for many years now? I know the Lord will make a way for me. I know the Lord. We make a way for me if I live the whole night. Shonda Roth and do the right. I know I the Lord. Lord. We you make a way for me. For those who don't know it, I know that the Lord. We make a way for me. And you will say, Me name Sarah, the baby, quiet, I'm a man. If I live a holy life, now me boy, Baba, come cross, shun the wrong, now me poor Bonia, and do the right, now me a dear, a tenor, I know the Lord, then you mean him, Sarah, they make a way for me. A baby, quiet, be a man. Are you make a way for you? All right, let's sing it together. Then you hear two more. I know, I know the, the Lord, Lord will make, make a way for me. If I leave the holy life, the Lord will make a way for me. I know the Lord will make a way for me. If I leave the holy life, If we play our part, yes. you are ready to play your part. Therefore, this morning, Father, Jesus. open our eyes Amen. to see all the areas we have been neglecting yes, Lord. as we are preparing our journey through to the pearly gates. Mm -hmm. Help us to see what we need to see. Help us to hear what we need to hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where will you be on the day of reckoning? It's a message we have been going through from different preachers in this conference. And it's a message we should take to heart seriously. Where will you be? The people singing to us sang that when the trumpet shall sound where will you be when it sounds so loud and the people are not hearing it when it sounds so loud as to wake up the dead when it sounds so loud as to wake up the dead where will you be where will you be when we talk about reckoning where will you be when we talk about reckoning when we talk about reckoning when we talk about reckoning to reckon means to establish by calculation when we talk about reckoning when also sit baby ano or to consider or regard and i said open to ubu baby in a specific way our coins from kobiso so when we talk about reckoning and he can't contemplate also use the same word synonyms to it are calculate compare work out or put figure on 
o se se bibi o di bibi to to bibi hu ana o di en nyo ma bi edi juma ana o di nyo ma bi gu akwa in every situation there will always be a day to calculate e da o be gu akwa nta e be ba there will be always a day to work out or to consider the results of what we have been doing. I remember when I was in the secondary school. Some of my fellow students thought they had arrived. Instead of spending time with their books. They say are having time with smoking and drinking. Going up and down. The day of reckoning came. When Waek brought the list. And some. They had what we call F9 parallel. Now. A day of reckoning came for them. And those who studied and studied and studied. And they were looking at them as foolish and stupid. They came out with flying colors. That is day of reckoning for them. God Almighty. May I allow your case to continue until rapture time. Because it's the all wise God. He may handle your case even this morning. Some of us may not stay until rapture. Because only Jesus and the great almighty God knows the day the rapture will take place. But then some of us, God may question you any moment, any time. The master of the servants came and called them to come and give accounts. And they started giving accounts. And in your case, accounts may be required any moment from now. But then, let me go through the Bible and see some cases where some reckonings were done. Right from the book of Genesis, we saw Cain and Abel. The two of them were highly religious. And they went to offer sacrifices to the Lord. The saints you come back for you, my brother. Abel offered sacrifice. Abel, Abel, for you. Cain offered sacrifice. So in the in the human eyes, the two of them have done good and well. But what you sacrifice to God? Is not counted by the volume and size. What you sacrifice to God is is calculated and value by the worth in the eyes of the Almighty. In the eyes of the Almighty, Cain offered the fruit of the land. The cursed land. In the eyes of the Almighty, Abel offered the blood of the lamp. Representation of what my Lord and Savior Jesus was coming to do. So Abel's sacrifice was accepted. Cain's sacrifice was rejected. It was not Abel that solicited with God or talked with God to reject his brother's sacrifice. But religious jealousy covered him and he decided to kill his brother whose sacrifice was accepted. Now let's go to Genesis chapter 4. Verse 11. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis Reading from verse 11. And now thou art cursed from the earth. Which has opened her mouth to receive the bro thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground. 
that shall henceforth yield no unto thee has. when that tiller the ground I said, I said, oh, oh, oh. shall not henceforth yield unto thee has strength a fugitive and a vagabond shall that be in the earth obey us uh, waiting for a nipper ginger I was a see so verse 13 and Cain said unto the Lord, My Lakin. punishment is greater than I can bear. When he was killing his brother, he looked this way, looked that way, nobody was looking at them. He did not look up. That the all seen eye of the Lord is seen my brother my sister it's one thing to come to church it's another thing to do the will of god it's one thing to do the right when people are looking at you it's another thing to do the right when you are in a closed place when nobody is looking at you but when people see you or not the all seen eye of God is always looking at you nothing is secret to God as we are preparing for the day of reckoning the day of calculation remember I say, every secret thing every secret thing that we do in the secret shall be revealed before the Lord and even unto you then you discover that you cannot hide Cain never thought the idea of reckoning would come after all but it came and the judgment descended let's come to our father Abraham. God called him at the age of 75. That is why I always tell myself that I'm a small boy. Because at the age of 75, God called Abraham. I have not reached 75. Am I not a small boy? So only 72. So I'm still a small boy. God called Moses at the age of 80. I've not reached 75, not to talk of 80. It means I'm a small boy. So if you are already 50 something or 60 something and you think you are, you are already old, wake up. Because God has not finished with you. Maybe it's just about to start. As it's about to start with me. It's just about to start with me. Therefore, get yourself ready. Because we shall walk up and down in the land to prepare the land for the glorious coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But there will be some things to be recorded. There will be some things to be calculated. So God called Abraham. At that age, he was childless. But then he decided to follow the Lord. Later on, he gave her to Isaac. At the age of one. 100. No, but before that time, then so answer he oh, gave her to Ishmael, oh, Ishmael, the father of the trouble of the world today. But then Sarah said, Take take him away. Now Sarah can say, You need free your chef and he didn't want to listen to the wife. One person bet you know. You know, some men don't like to listen to their wives. I saw that a man might be in tea when you because they look down their wives. Oh, and him tea. God tell Abraham, listen to her. Then so Radica said, Abraham, Tino. Do what he has told you to do. Then he send away the boy. Then Isaac started growing. Now Isaac shall say so. Around the age of thirteen, now Odi do me and Sano. God said, Abraham, 
Abraham. He said, Here am I. Or see, Take your son. Your only son. Whom thou lovest. I would do the And sacrifice him unto me. On the mountain I will show you. Take note of that. Sacrifice him unto me. On the mountain I will show you. If it was you, would you have accepted? For you to labor for 25 years after God has called you, before you give back to a child. Why you do in fear? You know, no more. I'm a friend, no. And so now, only a baby man. And now, as we are rejoicing with the child, God is saying, sacrifice him unto me. Now, after you when you are doing what you are doing, you are doing for your mom. And by that time. The only sacrifice they understood was killing and shedding the blood. Laying on the altar and firing it. Now, when he had it, God said, On the mountain, I will show you. They traveled the first day. Until to quite day, they can have not reached the place. Now, only in Ruho. They traveled the second day. Now, they chair or two. So they had not reached the place. Only in Ruho. Then on the third day, now there also be a sun. They saw the place far off. I think we will be able to say a word. Why did God allow him to travel three days before allow allow him to sacrifice Isaac? I don't think they ready man. I don't think Nansa and Sana walk us on for Isaac and back for you. God gave him ample opportunity to reach to rethink. Many a times when we come for a conference like this, at the fire of the word of God is burning in our hearts. We say, God, I will do this. God, I will do this. God, I will do, will do that. By the time we get home, and we see this, this, that. Now you who send it. Well, God, you understand. You see, with the conditions on the ground, it's not easy to do all those things I promise you. God, you understand. God, actually, we answer you. Yes, I understand. I understand you are not committed. I understand you are not trustworthy. I understand you cannot stand by your word. That's why you cannot be my representative. So I understand. Now God gave him chance to think over. The first day, the second day, then on the third day, they were looking at the place afar off. Then he told the servants that were going with him, Stay here. I and the lad. Now many go yonder to worship and come back. Here. That was faith talking. I and the lad. We go yonder to worship and come back again. Did God tell him he will come back? So he didn't tell him that. Did God tell him he will come back with Isaac? So he didn't tell him that. God didn't tell him that. But he knew. Yes, no, no. The Almighty loves him. Loves him. So I don't know. Does he love you? So I don't wanna. Does he love you? I don't wanna. He said, "Behold." I have a thought I think towards you. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil. To bring you to an expected end. To give you an expected end. So Abraham believed in that God. Not like modern day Christians. When they are, doing, when they are going through some small stress for God. They start singing in it's not an easy road. No, I shall see a tone of the idea that for more. Some will look at Isaac and say, Isaac. Um, we share Isaac. No, I can say Isaac. Let me tell you something. I make be being sure. When next you come to this world, sir, uh, we are seeing more human. And you hear Christ before you hear Nitty run away. Oh, 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 Christo, answer now, but it's some Nakano. Now, what Because Isaac asked him, Father. 
This is fire. This is knife. I can see firewood. Where is the lamp for the sacrifice? And the father said, without tears rub, coming down his eyes, said, My son, the Lord, he will provide his own lamp for the sacrifice. Abraham learned to trust God. Abraham As he was about to slaughter the son. God said, Abraham. Abraham. Stop. Stop. And then as he stopped, God said, Don't lay hand on your Child, look at Genesis chapter 22. I'm going to read from verse 10. Genesis 22. Reading from verse 10. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Say, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, okay, say, Here am I. I say, and he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad. Okay, say, Neither do anything unto him. No, For now I know that thou feareth God. For now I know. Let me just drop a point here. Some of us, we are not faithful to tithes paying. And we give offering as if they are begging us. But apart from tithes, apart from offering, there is something we call sacrificial giving. A giving that touches your heart. A giving that really touches your heart. That is sacrificial giving. As Abraham was about to slaughter his child on the altar. God himself said, Your only son whom thou lovest. God said, Now. I know. It is at the point of your sacrifice that your love to God is recognized. How far have you sacrificed before the Lord? What have you sacrificed before the Lord? There is a saying that goes all around. Give us never Lack. So Abraham got told him, Now I know now, Abraham, that you fear me. Abraham, let's go to verse 17. Okay, that in blessing I will bless thee. And in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven. And God started pouring blessings upon Abraham. Pouring blessings on Abraham. Why? God was taking reckoning of what he did. God was calculating and summing up together what he did. God was giving regard to what he did. What are you doing to God that can prompt heaven to regard you? Now let us see testimony of somebody concerning Abraham. Genesis 24. Uh, Genesis 35. Genesis 24. Genesis 24. Genesis and the Lord has blessed my master greatly now, and has become great. And he had given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and men servants and men servants and camels and asses. In those days, there were parameters they used to measure wealth. 
Now, or be or they say, Nipa Ahunya. In all the parameters, Abraham excel. Now, sir, Fanny, now Abraham, because I change so. God said, In blessing, I will bless you. Okay, I say, It's not a measure. Remember the parable we uh, our, te- our test of our test. Yes, sir, baby, I asked him to be free. When the master came. The one having five talents. Yeah, no, what talent to He had gained five more talents. And the master now said, Come to the job of your master. And the master will give him cities to rule. That means what we get will be much, much, much more than what you have given. Reckoning is coming. Abraham was a Christ-centered person. Abraham We call it Christocentric. Christocentric. normal person is egocentric. Where you are thinking me, me, and mine. Where you are the center of everything. You need to come to that arena. I was saying, you're back with where where you are back Christocentric. Where you can sing is no longer I that live, but Christ that liveth in me. I was back So for Abraham, and Abraham, his relationship with God was the paramount thing in his life. Today, Abraham had died thousands of years ago Abraham, his name has not died because a day of reckoning came for him he passed the examinations with bright colors your own time is coming how will God see you at your own time how will you appear before the angels of heaven let's come to Joseph Joseph was a very lovely person. Now Joseph was you will be an And I love him so much. Now Joseph was envied by his brothers. And in your name, any brain. Because he had some dreams. That had not even come to reality. And they decided that before the dreams will ever come to reality, they will kill him. So a day came and for them. Emmanuel. It was a day of reckoning for Joseph. One year now also say uh, so bet you so Here comes the dreamer. Say uh, so funny he shall kill him. I shall see. What shall become of his dreams? That is in their own accounts. A day of reckoning had come for Joseph. But let me tell you one thing. There is no jubilation until the final whistle of the reverie on the football match. You know, some years ago. There was an international match in uh, Kumasi Stadium. Kumasi And Black Star was being defeated. Black Star was being defeated. Some people are so un- unhappy. They started going home. They started going home. As some of them were about to reach KTI. Then they had it's a goal. It's a goal. That noise made them to start running back. They started running back. So, number one. Number two. And Black Star won the match. Now. By the final whistle, Black Star won the match. But at mid time, Black Star was losing. The referee is Jesus Christ. The whistle is in his hand. As long as he has not blown the whistle of your life, don't hang in the towel. 
Don't say you are defeated. And cast me the Google. Don't listen to anybody who tell you it is finished for you. And till be Obeka said, where will you cry? That your own has ended. Say what the other way. For Joseph, they thought his life will end that day. Now what dream said Joseph in Abraham will be here. But the referee has not blown the whistle. Then so Uru and Nyam born a baby. Therefore, Joseph was arrested. And to achieve Joseph, yeah. They kept him inside the dry well. Or they didn't share a brother and see him. Eventually, they sold him. I feel autonomous. What a cruelty. What bad, wicked minded they were. I dream bonnet, sir. I'm the Learn something. Your life is in the hand of God. Whatever anybody is saying or doing to you, put it behind you. I normally say something. But I can't say this. Right behind your head. Let them say. Say what they want. Can they have liberty to say whatever they can say? Obi, our whole country, our country, our person. But yours is in the hand of the Almighty. Then so, what the hell would you have told for? Not in the hand of the government. And yeah, by himself. Not in the hand of your your master in your working place or your employer. Who will be our father? But in the hand of the Almighty God. Amen. Then we will have told for no answer. So they sold him. And in the economy of God. Now, uh, uh, he, he allowed Potiphar to buy him in the slave market. Because every man, every woman, there is a program laid down by heaven for you. Whether you know or you don't know, there is a program of heaven. That is laid down for you. Ah, if I were brave. And whenever people are trying to manipulate you, they say, "Oh, brave, you papa say, oh, oh, say something." Heaven is there to undermine and readjust and make it to suit his purpose for your life. Amen. Or so, Eba be jiremuna. What you say, your mother, then your many a mana. Asa fata, send your washi shama or brave. There was a grand plan. Now, already what you say, that Jacob must move to Egypt. I was said Jacob echo Israel. Heaven has programmed it. Now also as you start to But for Jacob to move to Egypt, there must be a high powered personality. Now I was said to me be a chance so ever hope that will bring them I bet you know so that they can be given the choice land. So the bear obey as I see I say and who is going to be that high power personality? Now why need the year would you to me no better within a that was Joseph. Nay Joseph. But he didn't know. There's no name in all his dreams. He thought that he was going to be the head of the family. No, he thought that was all he would be. No, he said no one And that was why his brothers wanted to kill him. Ordinary head of family. What would be? The, what will he get for being the head of the family? Only some sheep and some goats. So God made Potiphar to buy him. And he already made Potiphar to so that he could learn some techniques and technicalities in Potiphar's so house. Then Obey just swear who will be every Potiphar fear. There were things to study to learn. Then you maybe also swear. There are things to understand. You maybe also tear swear. Before you can go to where God wants you to be, and send you to me, I could be already be saying. There are lessons to learn. You maybe also you swear or quit. That is why you must not see yourself as old. And until now, any so who is aware, you ready to learn. I was so yeah, crowd so be sure. Somebody. Said, Obika said, when we stop learning, we start dying. Say, ye jaya this year, and nature say, I can't see a bill. So, as Joseph was learning, into a brand of Joseph, he was exhibiting the qualities of a Christian. Now, our dark is so so eddy in a foreign land, in a land where nobody was a child of God. Because light shines brighter where darkness is. Darkness do not overcome light. Light overcome darkness. So Joseph, as he was shining, Satan discovered that the plan of God was going. Satan Something must be done. So he tapped Madame Potiphar at the shoulder. Say, hey, what are you doing? Tempt this young man to so sleep you. So you Now that was a juicy offer. 
And I call no to your master's wife. Say to say come and sleep with me. Because I name me that name me a slave. Wow, we are It was a juicy offer. Now, eh, eh, akonya I call no. If Joseph accepted it, say Joseph had it too He will become associate husband. Oni ni ru anebe ya obe yukulu or deputy husband. Ana ukulu abe di etri. Now, as associate husband, na obe ukulu abe di etri. His type of food he was eating would change. Do anybody know what the best is? And Madam Potiphar will be talking on his behalf to his to the husband. I feel Potiphar you didn't begin him, man. I want you to name. Can't we pass some of these dresses to Joseph? You oh, today he am from my Joseph. He's a very good boy. We can pass these dresses. You don't need again. We can pass them to him. Oh yeah, Abraham. To pass him from today, man. Now on on Wednesday, you know. Looking at the way Joseph is serving, can't we give him a better accommodation? Yes, yes, yes. Joseph has sent me. I even tell my man the baby. I say I'm an actor. So Joseph will will have got good good things. Let's just say, can you have a baby? We're gonna call him. But Joseph said, can I do this great wickedness against my God? So Joseph can say, so let me get to my body. Yeah, but let's see. Joseph will not dance to sing. One for one for everybody. Because he knew inside him. He says, no, no, no. The day of reckoning will be coming. I get you at the be everybody. Yes, there are naked women on the streets. Eh, wah, ma, wah, ma, boy, the jaw are bunting. But Joseph said, I've made a covenant with my eyes. And so you see me, 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 you are calm. You have to make covenant with your eyes. Also, when you when you calm. Because a day of reckoning is coming. What to do in the secret of your room? A day and will be exposed very soon. Yeah, we are what we are going to do. So Joseph disagreed to sleep with the woman. And to Joseph, I'm pretty sure so. And the woman told lie against him. Now, I try to tell you so. And if Master sent Joseph to jail, they had no quite fear say. When Joseph landed in the prison, now go pay if you say honor. He did not start crying. When Joseph said, "Oh, so go, where are you?" Say, "I ran away." Why did you allow me to come to prison when I was busy obeying you? I didn't know man. How can man be if you say, "Oh, brother, I'm here to suit you, man." Whatever God allows, I ran away. How can be in your life? I was a brother, man. Never grumble. I knew you. Never murmur. And Kasakasa, there is a way open opening for you. Now, Obiye Kwe Biya Ma, you may not understand. If I want to ask you, Joseph landed in the prison. Joseph could wear one. He started practicing practical Christianity. Now, for or there Christo Suma Pedi Oho. The prison warder noticed him. If you ask Chef Wano Ehunono, and quickly made him the head of all prisoners. Now, Amuru Muamani, yeah, oh, oh, you know, so penny. All that was to help Joseph to learn management. How to supervise people? How to control people? Because of the position he was going to, he did not know. Now know on him. Then the day came. The devil buyer. Yeah. The servants of the king were sad. After or he didn't come for. He came to them. Or he didn't come. You servants of the king. Why are you sad? So I didn't know where home. How did Joseph know? I don't know Joseph. Who he is? I don't know who he is. A weeping person does not see a sad person. Obia, Obia, the the rap one now. What Obia? I don't know. I don't know who. A Joseph was singing all around. He is not an easy road. You would have seen those men. Hey, I said Joseph. Hey, Tony, I'm saying. Hey, 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 that for man. Because I don't know who. But because he was buoyant, he was joyful in the Lord. Even though he was in prison, without a genuine reason. He, will, he knew that my God knows why I'm here. I know my Lord will make a way for me if I live a holy life, shun the wrong and do the right. He will make a way for me. He was buoyant. He was happy in the prison. Now Joseph, any age, now Odia Rusie, now Olim said that according to the saying, you know, when you are about to be a queen, be a man. He said, "Tina, are you not going to be a day of reckoning came for him." Now I got you at the be a man. Suddenly, announcement came. I feel a boy there will be. Joseph was needed in the palace. So here, Joseph, why he? I'm getting there. Oh, do you know? He interpreted the dream for the king. Oh, child, he didn't die him. He gave counsel to the king. Now, on the whole, I know you. That very day, a sadana. He woke up in the prison and slept in the palace. Oh, sorry, we're fiercer now. Side that wall, I hear fierce. Just one day. 
Dakropen. His life changed. He woke up in the prison. Oh, sorry, we fear said the end. And slept in the palace. Then so okay, I want to fear. Your time is coming. Umre so eba. Your time is coming. Umre eba. Don't worry yourself where you are now. And how who will be a word to see you? Always tell yourself. Catch your own self. I know my Lord. Mini Merade. We make a way for me. Now obey more quiet to many. Whatever you are going through. Wherever you are working, maybe I will not know. Maybe they are promoting some people in your working place, and you are better than them. You are above them, and yet they promoted them above you. Don't worry. Maybe I will be able to get my boss to announce what I want to do. Maybe those positions they are putting them, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are below your status. They are below where God wants you to be. Is preparing you to a very higher one. And how will it be? The be a idea, my own idea. A war from action, the radius is Yamaha. So a day of reckoning came. And he accounted what he said became governor of Egypt. Now, Joseph ever done a penny hour, it is eventually made way for Jacob to come. Now, another book, I'm a Jacob and Suba. Let's go to Kora Data and Abraham. I feel you share Kora Data and Abraham. So, in the book of Numbers, the story is in chapter 16. T. Dunsia. And you see, Data, Kora, and Abaran were leaders in that, the land. Data, Kora, and Abraham, no me can defoe. But they were not satisfied with what they had. Then so they are, no more, no more, I'm a boy, you so. They wanted to dethrone Moses and Aaron and become leaders. No, but some two Moses and Aaron are there, so no more, baby, eh, kai, oh, 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 were they not seeing the miracles happening every day? Then so, so, oh, so, oh, 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 you know, as you come to a church like this, so, but sorry, I say more. as you look at our wonderful pastors, we are all human beings. And some pastors might be envying the senior pastor. Might be envying him. Maybe, maybe they are looking at his car. Maybe they are looking at the church. And I'm not sure. Sorry, no more. You know, I remember one day. The kind of could be somebody said, mm, "Look at deeper life in Lagos." Oh, so she deeper life. Only Obi can say she deeper life in Lagos. At that time, Pastor Kumi was doing three services every Sunday. So I'm not sure for Kumi. I yeah, so me and some question there be. So the man said, even if it's only one naira, everybody pay in this church. Now Obi can say, "Obi, I be 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 to have one naira and poor." That this pastor can never be poor again. Then yourself, we only hear be him there. You know, many a times we look at what we think the pastor is getting. I told her, you dream, you are Jesus or something in your home. We are not thinking about the sleepless nights. Then so could that that is only a new home. The crying and the wailing of the pastor. It's so any how I just because of the, the masses, because of the commitment, because of the labor, because of the work that God is put inside His hand. It's time to watch our home. We are not a human being. We are ready to share the sentence. So they turn cold and they bury them. And today they turn cold and they They were envying Moses. Now when he bring Moses, and they now. Against Moses, and they started challenging the ordained authority. A day of reckoning came for them. Now, when you see that the people who are in the church are not in the church, you may be soliciting support from other pastors. Pastor Kojo. Sofukojo. What do you think about the way our leader talks to us? The way our leader handles us? Say na Ojo in say eh ye penyi no oni ye ti ane say na Ojo in fa home. Pastor maybe Crantin. Maybe a sofu Crantin. Look at where they throw you to. Where we be a do a koto. What offense did you commit that the pastor transferred to this village? When they be in pan a year in a do a koto say Crantin. Let us plan together. Let us remove him. And make and make me the leader. Now, Mama, my can you? If I become the leader, somebody, somebody like you, Obiti Sawo, I'll put you in a crown. Me no be conquer. Somebody like you, Obiti Sawo, I'll put you in a place where you can enjoy. Me no be come be a wakuma beto. Whereas we are all shouting, we are going to heaven to enjoy. He wants to enjoy his his own enjoyment here. We will be crying. You know, you can say, "Of course, so I can't go there." You know, the open source will do any one success. Eventually, if you are as senseless as he is, you will join him. That's a white woman. The heart is saying, "Send your own white woman." The heart is saying, "I will be coming home." Then the circle will be increasing. Now, 
So, Korah Data and Abraham, their circle started increasing. And to Korah Data and Abraham, one body and Esh has just said, "Don't say." A day of reckoning came. I got your word there, Abraham. Number sixteen twenty eight. Number sixteen from verse 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 twenty eight. Number sixteen to do all these works for i have not done i have not done them for if i have not done them i have not done them by my own mind or by my own power then verse 29 if this man died the common death of all men or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. Say, eh, sir, ni pay elu atofu wu ane ni enye nyame na asuma me. My brother, onye. My sister, onye ba onye ba ma. Never drive your leader to stand on his commitment to issue statement against your life. Eh, sure, okay, ni ni so beg na ne frere di afere no so so onke bi bi boni entu abrabos. Never drive your leader. And shall we can so stand on his covenant with God to issue also. negative statement against your life. So Obeka no may send me at all. So they drove Moses to that point. On the PM Moses could do something. And Moses said, Now look at me very well. I say, I feel more me. If God visits you with ordinary visitation. Then God has not sent me. If God visits you. And punish you like he punishes generally ordinary people. God has not sent me. But if God makes a way and open the ground and the ground swallows you, then you know God sent me. Immediately Moses finished talking. The ground opened under them. As I see be and the ground swallowed them. And the minute and the ground level itself again like nothing has happened. And I say to say that she ain't see. Now day of reckoning came for them. I feel when I come to go when I pass over the ground swallowed them. As I see no emily. Fire came and finished all their followers. Now a jab at Tori with a chili for you now. Who are you following? Why now didn't achieve? What are you doing? I didn't know here. Don't fight for position. And call and pick Jana baby. Fight to stand for the Lord. God is we calling all his people. Never rebel against anybody. Because all those who are in leadership positions, it says that when I crack and get to know his master is standard of fullness. To his master is standard of fullness. Let his master judge him. Manira no enye ne temu. Don't be his judge. Enye wuna be ne temu. Play your part. Ye wa femu diye. For him. Or not yet. Day of reckoning will come. I can't tell you what I'm Let's go to somebody whose life was very bad. Young Kri will be an abrabo and your crown. So, rehab the handouts. A yet rahaba gum or your grammonin. You know, if there's a big funeral in our in, in our hometown, a ye names a year Cassibi a cosway. People are coming. A cuckoo damn baby, yen as and the, the MC is introducing them as they come. Now, yeah, that one I did. Wabra, I'm over here. That's it. Here comes so and so, the regional minister. Oh, a swearful way and a bay. Here comes so and so, the director general of so 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 company. A human way, penny and so now. Hey, if Madame Rehab too is coming, and it's a Rehab and so bad, can it be announced? Here comes the general commander of his allots. I bet I said two, two, four, he didn't know so ever. Can be announced like that. So you bet you can be busy. Or the coordinator of halots. And I say uh, two two four him. Uh, it is a shameful business. Halotry is a shameful business. Uh, yeah, and it will, uh, and so Madame Halot was doing a shameful thing. And he now a juma way and he was he had the but the God of Israel. Then so I say be before Israel for any uncle. However bad you may be. 
And for only saying that you're my end yes, I am shameful your life may be. And for only saying that you're my brother, and you will say, I am about the God of Israel. Oh, to Israel, you're going to be on the ground. I am about Jesus that died for you on the cross. What is yes, you are who I said you are so much. You will surrender to Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, if you say, Here I come, Here I say, Here I come, Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. he will save you. He will wash you with the blood of Jesus and transform your life. Now, what's such a problem? This woman now obey her board the spies that Joshua sent to that city. And she did everything to protect them. Now, she put her own life at stake. Or the name compo to be able to help these spies who came to work for the law. So, but to me, the Abuakwa and Srafu, you obey your radio. The Bible makes us to understand the trust of the Mayat as yes, ordinary cup of cold water. Say, so, uh, a sukru ampono. If you give it to a disciple because it's a disciple, you will never lose your reward. Or the man, the chidini bia, it's also a radio chidini into no land, land to give helping hand. To ministers of Jesus Christ. So you say, "Obey, boy, a radio sumfu." Learn to support workers in the vineyard of the Lord. So you say, "Obey, boy, a radio juma yefu." Because a day of reckoning is coming. It says, "I conte boy de biba." So a day of reckoning came for Madam Rehab. It says, "I conte boy da neba maraha." Let's go to Joshua chapter six. Then go Joshua. Yeah. We read from verse twenty-two. Joshua chapter six. Joshua from verse twenty-two. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house and bring out there is the woman and all that he has as he swear unto her. Now Joshua Ekache Mrantu and Mino and Oya Kwan Srafo a cronum say Munko uh money in fear na mun munin mra and it be bea or will be a sanya mun in the core upam no. Before judgment was declared on Jericho. And Sana or dear so tree by Jericho soon. Rehab and his and her father's house were rescued. Rehab nini fear for the Oya because he joined himself to the house of God. It says or then who bata eradi fear. Join yourself to the house of God today. Amen. Also for who bata eradi fear then confessing whatever sin you have been living in. And the pen book our bunny out to win align the death of Jesus Christ to wash you away. Nama Yesu won't empty power bunny. Jesus said. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. I see if you're in the middle of the church. If man hears my voice, there will be a better man. And opens the door. There will be a man. I will come in. Me shall be moved. And shop with him and eat with me. Now, ma, me don't know at na. Why, madam, madam, Rehab was rejoicing. Until Robert na or about Rehab, Eddie was celebrating. Now, the near channel. Somebody was busy stealing. Now, Obin so any abra who we had here. His name, his name is called Akan. Now, Akan, been so ho. He stole some things that God said nobody should touch. I radical say, Mobia and Fanny Sanka. And he dug the ground and buried them there. And In my language, oh, make a sermon. There's a proverb we say, when a thief steal the trumpet of the king, where will he blow it? Now, say, because in those days, only in the palace they will blow the trumpets. So to when you now go to the palace to steal the trumpets, now what are you going to blow it? There is no way you can blow trumpet in the secret of your room and people will not hear. Whatever you do, wherever you do it, wherever you do it all sin eye of God is looking at. You. Akan thought he had perfected the plan. But everything is covered. So a day of reckoning came. And he was brought out. He started confessing. All those things were also brought. He was stoned to death with his family. And then burnt with all he had stolen. Now when I look at some wicked minded people, 
the question comes. What shall he profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world. So and we are seeing now. Forfeit his soul. No, Look at Judas Iscariot. She Judas Iscariot. He sold our Lord and Savior for thirty pieces of silver. And he never spent it. Then so. He never spent it. So why did he go into it? Why are you yielding to that temptation? Why are you yielding to that temptation of sleeping with that woman or that man? Immorality is a minute enjoyment that causes everlasting sorrow. After finishing the act, we forget the enjoyment of it. But you will never forget the repercussions of it. Why will you dance into it? Let's look at people like David. Days of reckoning also came for David. As a young boy, no, he risked his life. To go and challenge Goliath. He never fought on the battlefield. He never saw any battle with his eyes. And yet, he said, "I will go." Because to him, Goliath was was talking against the Almighty God. And he must be silenced. He must be silent. He had no weapon of war. No, he had no armor. And he had no experience of using weapon and armor. And I will need you to be also. But he said, "I am going in the name of the Lord." So he killed Goliath. After that, and what you know? Instead of Saul to give to David what he promised whoever would kill Goliath rather he wanted to kill David he started planning and planning and planning all his plans were coming to zero why I didn't hear. because if God has not killed you no man can kill you your time is in the hand of God. Not in the hand of any man. So all the strategies and plans and everything was coming to zero, zero, zero. And there were opportunities for David to kill Saul. David is He didn't do it. Why? He knew day of reckoning was coming. And the day of reckoning came. And Saul used his own sword to kill himself. Don't be afraid of any sword pursuing you. Because Saul will eventually use his own sword to kill himself. Have you forgotten the story of Haman in the book of Esther? The gallo he prepared for Mordecai was the gallo he died upon. The Bible says that the to pit the dog for you, they themselves will fall therein. Day of reckoning is coming. There are some things we need to take into consideration. Number one, give. For reckoning to come. There must, there must be things to reckon. For their calculation to come, there must be things to calculate. For the day of accountability to come, there must be things to account for. Therefore, number one, give. What do you give? My son, give me your heart. Your heart is number one. Give your heart. Give your life. Give your money. Give your material. Then who do we give to? We give to God. We give to the ministers of God. We give to the house of God. We give to the children of God. We give, God. We give for the work of God. Number two. Love. Do. Number one is give. Number two is love. You cannot love too much. Because you can love too small. 
Then so uh 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 na a two dear or a radiation shake. Love God. Do a rade. Love the ministers of God. Do a rade as soon for love the house of God. If he is so love the book called the Bible. Do a rade as a metro. Love the work of God. Do a radia juma. Number three thing you must take into consideration as we are planning and working towards the day of reckoning. Serve. 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 In a sinful suit that time. Oh, try and send you now was some was sinful suit. I will go to the church, I will carry you a head pound with sand and all those things. Oh, can I send you a quite sorry? No, so I knew I would tell you. He was happy doing them. Now, or somewhere in Jesus, he did not know. No, they say a day like this will ever come in his life. I dare be at this say, Baba, I want a problem. Where wherever you are serving, baby, I was so served with gladness for a NJ soon because every Thing you do, it's as a baby. People don't see recordings are going on over there. A slow etre recordings are going on over there. A slow etre to so serve without looking back. It is so more brown. Do the will of the Lord at all times. Let me read some view and some few verses before we pray. They can kind and some for be and sana yabo. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Look at things here. You might know what I know. We know the verse. Some of us know it off head. I like to read it. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Look at things here. You might know what Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Uh, press down. Shake it together. And running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met with her shall be measured to you again. And ti e mo ho mo ho e no obe obe si si no sign di ama o na sign ya o de ma e no sabe pe na obe shwa so e di e tu ya usoka. The Bible is giving a command here. We are said ya train e de ma e. When a sentence start with a verb, it's a command. Uh, so on the uh, at the your extra as some can be as ya ne ya said ya. And this sentence started with give. We or say ma. Give is a verb. Give and it shall be given unto you. We don't give because we have overflowing pockets. It's not because we have plenty money, that's why we are giving. It's not because we have plenty time, that's why we are giving. It's not because we have plenty clothing, that's why we are giving some out. And I say, be our third, the adults who are in our DBM. Remember, Jesus noticed that widow woman that gave just farthing, small money. And Jesus said, The rest are giving some. Of their abundance, they have, but this woman has given her all. Now, Jesus can say, When I work out, what might be. Money? And her all was very small. God recognizes it. So the Bible said, Give. The second passage I want to read is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. But verse 6. But this I say, no, see, say and I make her. He who swears parily shall reap also sparingly. Near Osusu Ediano Osusucha. And he who swears bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Now Odiano Befo no subetra befo. That is what you are going to get. It's going to be related to the quantity or volume of what you give. Therefore, Give freely from your heart. Give joyfully from your heart. And our last passage is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Galatians 6, verse 7. Now this is the verse. Be not deceived. 
And that our hope, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And one of the that law governs the world. Sir, the law of sowing and reaping controls the world. Whether you are a sinner, you are a Muslim, you don't even believe in any God, or you go to church, it doesn't matter. The law of sowing and reaping controls the world. One analogy was telling some people in Nigeria. He said, You Christians don't know what you have. I pay my tithe to a particular church. And since I started paying my tithe, my business. Business have been doubling and doubling and doubling. Now, it is a mission. Say to you, you know, me see Kado and Edo, so I am home. He is not born again. Onya, our forefather. But he believes in sowing and reaping. Then, so I just say, would would we have worked as so? You that have been calculating and miscalculating before paying tithes. Why, Abebe, I was just here now. Our form no answer. No, what you are told to show the do no. This is warning for you. We are coco bomba. This is warning for you. We are coco bomba. When it's time for offering, so I'm ready to show up for you. Give according to the leading of your heart. Ma, Radindi, we come back in Nefa. We come back in Emma. No. In Nigeria, at times I'll go to some programs. I told them because you made you do Nigeria. The person leading to offering will say, "Today we are not accepting any money below five hundred naira." Obi to make idea for any say another day here you see car any roof five hundred naira be And me that day I had two hundred naira in my pocket. And so Saturday we had two hundred naira and I want me home. And the man says minimum is five hundred naira. Now Oru and say Obi at the the circle I was saying five hundred naira. Inside my heart. I said, God, you know what I have. And this money I'm giving it to you, not to him. So when it was time for offering, I carried my 200 naira. I went to put it in the offering bowl. Because I'm giving it to him. Not to the pastor. Not to the church. You know, one man told me some years ago in Bantama here in Kumasi. He said he went to one church. Before he went, he asked the person taking him there, how many times do they take offering in your church? No, answer the one said one time. It's alright. So he went. He okay, had said, only one currency in his pocket. Yeah, but the preoccupation. The all corner now seeka. So when he got there, he realized the offering would be two times. And you do one whole half for any baby, you know. So he tore the currency to two. And to to chase can you move? You know, in the first offering, he put the half. For you, the kind of buffer. In the second offering, he put the second half. And then they told him to a buffer. He said, he told me, he said in his heart that pastor look for cello tape and tape it. So because to him he was giving to the pastor. He didn't know he was to give to God. Give to God. Give to God. Serve the Lord. Love the Lord. Whatever you are doing, tell yourself, I am doing it to the Lord. When the day of reckoning comes, he will never forget the tiny, tiny thing you do for him. So we are going to rise up now. Go to the Lord. You remember? I said we are serving the Lord. Yes, some already. We are working for the Lord. Yeah, yeah, you remember already. The day of reckoning is coming. According to what be ever. If the day should come today, that's how a bus is here. What will he tell me? Like the preacher of our mommy yesterday, what will he tell you? What will he tell me? Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Are you upside down in your Christian life? So I brought one that's in the trash. So Christian someone. See, see murmuring and backbiting and gossiping. What are you doing? You are making me feel my cow. I didn't say Tony and dear. The reckoning is coming. I got to board there, but you are an angel in the church. Oh yeah, but for 
but a devil in the market. I was sorry, then so who do you an angel in the church? We are both our sorry, but a devil in your house. And so we are some I will feel your husband sees you as a devil. Oh, who can who say, but we all see you as an angel in the church. And then so you who say, I'm both our sorry, your children see you as a devil. Oh, my who knows, but some we see you as an angel in the church. That's so bad. Sorry, who said before? Day of reckoning is coming. I got a good and no ever close your eyes now and tell you. Say God, I'm sorry. Say Rade, Mr. For my unbalanced life. The type of life I'm living. I want to hear well done. And welcome. Come unto the joy of your master. I don't want to hear depart from me. Ye that work in iniquity. So Check your life. If you show up, bro. As a child of God, say your member, and as a pastor, I will hear your message. There are some ways you have disobeyed God. So I pray for our wives so that they are ready. Are there some areas God has told you to move and you are not moving? I pray for our wives so that they are ready to move. Are you allowed some murmurings and grumblings? What are some things you are not allowed? This is the time to open your heart to the Lord. Embrace the Lord so we be a whole woman ready. Ask God to forgive you. Let's send hope on the fire. To wash away. The blood of Jesus. Now, if I use more than two, let's close our eyes now and pray. Because day of reckoning will come. It's a good and good and ever. Whether we like it or not, day of reckoning will come. Upo, Upo, a good and good and ever. If you are seeing yourself as a sinner, so who who saw that we are the boy here? And you want to meet the Lord with joy? Now, but so the energy is here, right there. This is opportunity given to you. I call you Lord, dear man. You can just come forward here. To an amount of names is here. You know you are still living in sin. We don't say that so the boy name. Come forward here. To an amount of names and surrender to the Lord. Now, enjoy the beer moment, right there. To come forward here. Oh, brother, we turn our boy. Start confessing your sins. Shall just now open my cow body. Start telling God. Let me tell you, right there. We commit him. Eh, catch it, right there. Boy, you are wearing it now. Maybe we see you as an angel, but you know you are a devil in the house. Maybe you are not. You know you are born for Zufia. Oh, you are Muslim. Jesus has discovered you. Yes, you are Hulu. This is the time to come face to face with to Him. I'm ready to accept the burden. I'm sorry, Lord. I am sorry. Now I can't say Rade Mesro. Lord, I'm sorry. Rade Mesro. I've been living a useless life. My boy Abrabo Fulu. Confess to him because he knows you already. Tell him you are sorry. Catch your address and wash them. And be sincerely sorry in your heart. Let him know who the blood of Jesus. Let him to wash you with the blood of Jesus. Now for the more giant thing, the blood is shed on your behalf on the cross of Calvary. We are now watching man. We know what Calvary is for. It is finished. Okay, so we are real now. Please, my brother, don't hide yourself. Mr. Enfaun, see you cannot hide yourself. Though mountains cover you. His eyes are set on you. You cannot hide yourself, though mountains cover you. His eyes are set on you. You cannot hide from God. I cannot hide from God. You cannot hide from God. You cannot hide from God. No mountains cover you. His eyes are set on you. You can't hide from God. Whatever is covering you, can't hide from God. The position in the church you are holding cannot hide you from God. And to me, and for all he tell me, come forward here. To an amount of bread, confess your sin to God. The Bible says, if we confess our sins to God, He is faithful and just. He is faithful and just. To forgive us our sins and wash us from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you have confessed sincerely, so what pain back out with the cream world? Jesus has forgiven you. Then you Christ to what open your church. Now open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. You are not say, Where yes, you brahma come in. Come in today. Bremu and a day. Come in to stay. Rabatinasi. Come in, Lord Jesus. Bremu or yes. And the king of my life. 
he the king of my heart come into my life now take possession of me and use me to your glory that miracle is happening right now and your name will be written in the book of life and the Holy Spirit will take over control of your life and your life will never remain the same trust him Believe him, Genetti. he will never fail you. Now only you have mother. I want to pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. As many as has come forward now, Jesus, opening their hearts to you, you know them. Yes, you know their hearts. You know their life. Yes, Lord. Father, forgive and forget and wash their sins away with the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Jesus name. Amen. Make them to become new creatures. Yes Lord. Give them the power Jesus. to go and sin no more. Amen. Thank you Father because it is done. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. And as they are going back, let us open our hearts again to the Lord. You know, as a child of God, you have not been all right. You have not been obeying the way you should obey. You have not been doing what you are supposed to do. Wherever you are, Maybe I just raise one hand up and say, Lord, you I've disappointed you in some way. It's true, nobody may know, but you know. I've disappointed you in some ways. Forgive me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. You that saved David. After immorality and adultery, save me too. Wow, would you David or Brow or Yabonitia or no Jemens? You that gave David eternal covenant after he has repented, give me eternal covenant. Wow, also. only David call a Pama to a few ball or Brow such an adrian or the main cause of Pamini B. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, all my brothers and sisters that are raising their hands to you, Jesus, receive them, amen receive them amen if they need renovation renovate them yes lord if they need rebooting reboot them jesus if they need any area of their life they need you to correct and to change some things correct and change all those things in the name of jesus amen we want to serve you yes lord we want to live for you amen because we don't want you to come and meet us unprepared jesus lord Prepare us for yourself. Amen. Make us worthy yes, Lord. to serve you. Amen. Worthy to please you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before I leave the podium, some of you here, you see yourself, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a pastor. The question comes, why are you not a pastor? Why can't you be a pastor? Why can't you serve the Lord? Whatever you have been putting before yourself, I cannot serve God because of this. I cannot serve God because of this. Right now, I want you to put those things aside. And say, Lord, I want to serve you. If you want me to be a pastor so in any town, in any country, in any place, I'm ready to serve you. Whatever your program is for my life, release me to my destiny. And they may become or No more standing against you. Mean you know, I come up Use me to honor your name. For me, I show the other. Use me to glorify your name. For me, I do the only. Use me to make men and women to come before you. If I make a crown, I'll hold. You know what I say in your copo. You know what I say in a radio pa. Or bottom pa, I won't be sell over to my attorney. And I day one young say, He has said, Yeah, 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 yeah,
that which will enable us to live as expected, O Lord. That you will, which will enable us to take our steps after yours, O Lord. So that whatever you have purposed for us will come to fruition. Whatever thing that must have been a hindrance in times past, whatever thing that has, must have caused us to uh, linger in times past, O oh Lord, we are asking that we surrender it all unto you this morning. Take charge of our lives. Take dominion of our lives. Be the leader of our lives, that you direct us into the greatness that you have prepared for us. We thank you for your servant through whom you spoke unto us. We pray that even as you have used him to bless us, may you bless him multiply, O oh Lord. Multiply his blessings for him. That at the end, you reap whatever thing that he has sowed in your vineyard. We thank you, we honor you, we bless your name. In Jesus Christ, our Lord's mighty name, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen.